But speaking of new people learning about the league, I mean, ever since Thursday night football, maybe what, three, four weeks ago, Fox has hit the gas pedal with Mm -hmm. promos for the league during every NFL broadcast that they've aired since, including two new promos this past weekend. What did you think of the new promos? They're nice. They're nice. I they, I know that uh, I was one of those people first off in the original in the uh, first round when they released the no more no more football. I had, I stopped for a second and I went I went wait what are they what are they trying to imply? And I know that they're implying something that I joke about and how I'm like I actually talk to my friends and I go football's not over guys like let's let's be frank like I'm that dude that's like at the end of the NFL season when most people are like ah oh, well now we got to wait till fall I'm like. Uh, excuse me, there's <laughs> arena and indoor leagues. You got like this, that, and they're like, and that my friend's like, we just shut up. And I'm like, no, <laughs> but no, th- I got that one. So, okay. Some people got confused. These recent two, I really liked, um, the ruling on the field one, picking up the flag. That one was pretty cool. Someone pointed out that that was taken at pit at a uh, Heinz field in Pittsburgh. You could see Jack Lambert's number, the uh, hall of fame numbering, at least on the mm-hmm. side, mar- on the side borders of the stadium. And then I really liked the other one where it was spring, where it was the snap count one, spring football, spring football, hut hut hike like that. That one I think was cool because it's just an action shot, but it also got people talking because again they showed off their first commercial mm-hmm. promo. They showed off a football, and we were wondering, is exactly. this the USFL football? Is it a render? And now they showed another one, similar star structure, the league logo on the side. It's got to be. I don't know, man. Now it it's got to be. I Maybe mean, it is the football, why would you, you make know? two promos for a league that shows a football that you don't plan on using where the design, I would get it if it's stock, right? right? If, if for whatever reason it was okay, fine. Two commercials now. And again, talking about the football, I, I, one, I love it because it's, it's a nice throwback to the original, except for you're adding a little bit of color, but with the addition of the stars at the tip of the ball, one of the things I thought that was one of the coolest things with mm-hmm. the XFL, how they had the X on the tip. So this is, I, I think it's awesome. I, oh, yeah. I, I'm, I hope, hope, hope they sell these footballs. I assume if they do, Big Game USA will be manufacturing them. I hope they do. They're the ones that made the XFL football. They made the I Spring hope. League ball. I, w- ball. I, I see no other real option out there i mean yes there's other options but i mean big game makes a good quality product um i don't have a spring league ball but i do have an xfl ball over there um but i would say another uh team issue is a good company too they did the uh, last iteration of the arena football league version of their football doesn't i I wouldn't mind seeing them them get into the fray Maybe they do. I I believe you might be right on I'd that. Be I could wrong. be redundantly. I, I have. I might be redundant. Well, I have. A, I think well, I'm being. I have the XFL wallet over there. If you did, you even know that was a thing. Okay. <laughs> no, I did know that was a thing. That is funny. How, <laughs> that is very obscure of a product. So I I find that hilarious. You're bringing that up again. I do remember. And actually, I am taking that back. Yeah, I, Team Issue is the one that. On their website, right, right. they would advertise and sell the ball. So yes, they it's the same company. I but to reiterate how they are doing great with these leagues. So like they did the AFL one, then they transferred into the XFL one. I mean, they're gonna do these. I mean, heck, you can argue that maybe they reestablished that connection for the XFL whenever we talk about that in a little more detail. So they make some good quality stuff. Like that that would be one I'd love to see them do. And the football looks nice. I like the star pattern. You know, yeah. and plus receivers love those little marks on the edges. It makes it easier for them to do the diamond. That's that's, a tri- <laughs> that's the technique, everybody. Get get your hands together. The football's edge gets in between your hands, and then you're able to grasp it firmly. Get that catch with both well, hands. Well, you bring up Don't a good point. You bring up like an excellent <laughs> point. Improper. Is I think that it it helps the game by them adding those features for this style of play. Like the NFL, yeah, I get it. They don't. They shouldn't need it there. Uh, I, I do like it here in something like, again, the XFL, the spring league or the USFL. I mean, I mean, it makes perfect sense. Oh yeah. Yeah. Even, even in the arena leagues, like the IFL and the mm-hmm. NAL, I don't bring up a lot of arena in this show, but you know, we're talking football. They have the same thing. They have like, basically the NAL has got these like arrow marks and same goes for the IFL. There's different styles, but you know, right. 
to each league their own. <laughs> so the stars are kind of that, and it follows their pattern of you know what they used it back in the day. Nostalgia, the stars, they they they're tied in with the USFL and all their branding from back then, and somewhat now are looking so, like they're going to be like that too. <laughs> me so, too. Uh, if that's I know, like man, it. it's funny how this whole this whole conversation was about to be supposed to be about the promos, and it turned into just about the ball. Yes, the ball was in the promo. This just shows how excited we are <laughs> yes. to see the ball. And I know, I mean, there's one guy online. You know who I'm talking. I don't even have to say any more. Seth Lessons. Oh, you yes. know he's waiting for the day. I'll say this. If anyone at the what USFL is watching and you want to gain a fan for life, send Seth Lessons a football. Send us one too, but send him one as well. Because, I mean, yes. he's got, he's got... Everything I've never seen a dude have so many cool, original, authentic, rare footballs than this guy has. I don't get. I don't know how he finds them. I mean, yeah, you. Well, you want to talk about US? Like, just to give him his recent, like one of his most recent purchases. When I'm and I'm following him online too. He's got like he's got the 1986 USFL game ball that was supposed to be an experimental football. And for those that it's like 1986, okay, what's the big deal? Well, remember they didn't play in 1986. They had to. Well, kind of, uh, you know, closed doors. That was that was the ball plan for the fall season of that year. Yeah, never came to be. <laughs> so it's that shows you, like, dude's serious about his footballs. Like he is a diehard collector. And I and yeah, like we're gonna see it no matter. Like even with after the renders or whatever, oh, absolutely. The pictures, you know he's gonna get one. Like of the those second, he'll be order number out. one. <laughs> right. So back. Yeah. <laughs> back, back to the promos. It's gonna real happen because I, 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 looking forward. Right. So this weekend. It's the beginning of the NFL playoffs, right? We have games on Fox and NBC. Clearly, Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see Fox continue to show promos. We haven't seen NBC show any promos yet. Will we? Will we? Keep in mind, everybody, they are broadcasting the Super Bowl this year. So there's that. But I don't know. Do you think we get any in the playoffs? Now I'm going to bring up how this came to be because this was a tweet that was sent out via the USFL podcast account that we handle. And it was, it was one of those things like him, you and I were curious, like, okay, let's see what people think about this. Like, because Fox has been doing their part. They already own the league majority wise. So of course they're going to put them out, but NBC bought into the league for broadcast rights. So in theory, they have a stake in this and Mm. they bought, the rights they didn't you know they're not just letting you play on their network they are paying fox to do this so in theory they have an incentive to promote this entity that they're going to be playing in the spring also that they don't have nhl games and they are losing some sports rights you know this is kind of a new thing they're adding in i i put we put that down we saw i believe so we saw some people like oh yeah this makes complete sense and then we got into some people debating about like no, this ain't going to happen. They don't have enough incentive or enough, enough backing into it. And I'm like, man, I think they will because of the fact that recent track record that NBC's had with retaining some sports to broadcast their sports lineup is not very mainstream. They, they have a different skew. They like a lot of the obscure Olympic sports as well as of course, soccer with premier league and they do IndyCar as well and then you know they don't have basketball they lost hockey nbc sports network shutting down or shut down now i mean there to me this just this all adds up to saying like hey this is a new thing for us we're gonna put a promo out or promos at some point and i think with the super bowl as well Mm -hmm. it's the it's the best time to do it you have the entire driver's seat you don't have to pay for that ad space you just have to give up potential money for the ad space is the only thing so i guess in theory, you are losing cash out, but also if you make money off of the USFL at some point down the line from the TV aspect, that's the hope. It gets that that spurt because you're going to air a good chunk, if not half of these football games anyway. For sure. You're invested. You got to do it then. At, at least at the Super Bowl at or your minimum, wild card. I think we get a mm-hmm. Super Bowl ad at minimum. I think it would be so, it would be very strange for us not to see a, uh, an ad during the Super Bowl. Again, let's let's look back at the past. Let's look at 2019 and 2020. We saw an ad for the AAF, right? People think about the, the XFL was like yeah. hot hot potatoes compared to the AAF. So the AAF getting a spot is one thing. The XFL got a spot. 
I mean, it would only make sense. Again, we don't, I don't know if they're going to, but I almost feel like the answer has to be yes there. I could see them skipping the playoffs leading up to it. And, and I'll say this. The main reason is because unlike the XFL, they're not playing right after the Super mm-hmm. Bowl. Right. And so, I, but at minimum, we'll right. get this. I, I few think months. It yeah. has to be. I think we almost have to see an ad to, during the Super Bowl. Now, an, another question for you, though. Another question. You, so, yeah. Last week, final week of the NFL playoffs or the NFL regular season, excuse me, we saw Fox again showing the promos. They brought out two new promos. Do we get new promos for the playoffs? Good question. And that would happen to me. So whereas NBC to me, it's at minimum the Super Bowl, they have to wait till then. Fox is most likely to me would do it during the NFC championship game when they will be hosting that. And they'll get a sizable audience because the NFC actually is a really good broadcast deal for them. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them because they already dropped another round. I didn't think Mm -hmm. they'd drop another round because of just, uh, I don't know. They, I mean, I'll give it that. They've been bare bones. People right. have been saying it. I'll put it out there. They've been kind of trying to do this as economically cut and dry as possible. So they put out a second round. Now I'm kind of thinking, okay, some person over in LA or whatever group is in LA working on this stuff for them. Is it out of the possibility they could? No. I mean, dude, they, they can put out a third one. Sure. They got to have some other footage that they can slap together and then at the end put that same glimmer effect USFL logo. I mean, it's the a 10 end. second ad. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would not be shocked. No, I wouldn't be exactly. shocked. Just put it as a bumper again. They'll, they'll do it the same way. It'll be a 10 second bumper unless for some reason they hold out and they do like a 30 second for the heck of it. That's the one I think everyone's waiting for is like the longer form, like this is what this is all about. Yeah. yeah. Eight teams, all in Birmingham, Alabama, of made-for-TV product just for you. Right, right, Smash right. Mouth football, like something like that. They'll wait for the, like the long. But these are all like buildups. Like I think even uh, like you've seen execs like Eric Shanks. I think's commented if I remember right on Twitter. Someone asked about that, um, or whoever Connor Folk contacted and recently a few weeks back, he asked about the promos. And they're like it's a buildup. So sure. to me, it's got to build up to something bigger. This is these are hints. Right now, wait. I want the explanation right. one. You know, and maybe, really maybe we're meat, lucky that will know? be the NFC championship game. Or, I mean, for the for the league, to, it, it would be huge if they got that build up one in the Super Bowl, like a good thirty second ad during the Super Bowl. I mean, I don't. I couldn't even tell you how much money that's worth. Ten seconds is worth more than I'll ever own in my life anyway. But thirty seconds, I mean. <coughs> so, I mean, we're getting so close to so many fun things. 